I guess these guys got their stereo installed on the hood of their car, otherwise the interior and exterior sound qualities would be in reverse. And now here's some random masturbation to prove that this show is mature. It might not be a cell phone, but I think she deserves a ticket for distracted driving. I mean, come on, doesn't your race have a rather sordid history of exploiting and feeding off innocent people for centuries? Three points. Number one, show me documentation. Doesn't exist. Vampires didn't Number exist two, before three years ago. Why? Because we have no documentation to say that they did. So any vampire that talks about any event older than three years ago is either lying or crazy from now on. That New Orleans is a mecca for the vampire. Seriously? I mean, New Orleans? Even after Katrina, didn't they all drown? Vampires cannot drown because we do not breathe. Is this guy for real? Dude, no harm intended. We're just a little drunk. Nice. I could use a cocktail. <laughs> I totally had you guys. Oh good, he's not. Wait, that's racist. That wasn't I knew this girl who knew this girl who did vamp blood during Greek week. She like clawed her own face off. And I knew this guy who knew this guy who did the same thing after having to watch this episode over and over again in order to review it. FYI, I was that guy. Okay, you two need to leave. I agree. Right. You ever pretend to be one of us again? And I'll kill you. I love you, Confederate vampire. Welcome to Super Saber Bunch. This conversation. I'm looking for so us, but... it never occurred to you before you drove an hour to pick up the phone and call us to see if we stopped whatever the hell it is that you're looking for. How many of you out there working in retail have the urge to say this at least Why once you a week? Just find it online and have delivered to your house. You are a very rude young woman. Oh, this ain't rude. This is uppity. It's always good to be clear on your position. My ass too much. I know y'all have to be stupid, but do you have to be that stupid? Shit, oh, fuck this job. Bonus point for scoring a hat trick in a single scene. This is better be an emergency. I just quit my job. Again? I can't work for assholes. Well, I'm glad you can afford to be so picky, Miss Say hello to the rest of us. Oh, shut up. Sam is not an asshole. Any what the fuck? Introducing the Everclear of White Trash. Give me the run. What can I do for y'all tonight? You can wrap your sweet lips around my slim wrinkle. Well, That's what you at least he said terms of having a small penis. Hey, those are his words, not mine. Suki can hear people's thoughts. Why didn't I bring that up? Because all did in this episode was fill the screen with white noise and crude humor. Honey, if Renee tells you you're too young to watch a scary movie on HBO, then I'm siding with him. Got it. Ooh, sucky. Chicka chicka brow round. You look like a porn star with that tan and pink lipstick. You got a date? No. When I wear makeup, I get bigger tips. <laughs> yes, girl, that's it. These damn rednecks are sucking for packaging. Oh, by the way, can you tell? He's gay. I know he's being really subtle about it, so you might just have to believe me on this one. They ain't scared of you, honey child. They scared of what's between your legs. Well, I don't want to have sex with you. Uh-uh, me neither. Mm -mm. Y'all bitches just don't know what you're missing. I got six... Stop pumping. I'm not going to score it because it's both glorious and terrible at the same time. You can watch it walk away, make him want to slap it. Is that empowering or demeaning? Everybody knows. Everybody been there, John been there. Slapping it. Take these, baby. Peaches and cream. Oh, yeah, baby. Right off that withered cob. Also, again, is that empowering or demeaning? While I will have to black box her boobs, I do love HBO's obsessive compulsive behavior when it comes to hiding any part of a man's bare butt. He offered me a thousand dollars to buy me. What was I gonna do? Say no to a thousand bucks? She's not a hooker. She just had sex with him in exchange for money. Completely different. My life sucks. 
And Tara, don't you be feeling sorry for yourself. That's just lazy. But why can't I keep a job? Maybe because you can't keep your mouth shut. Bitch, who asked you? <laughs> okay, remember this scene where Bella and Edward sit next to each other in biology? For the most part, people found this scene to be silly, stupid, and over the top. By the way, Twihearts, I look forward to your comments below. Not counting the awards where fans vote, because those don't have any value, the entire Twilight franchise received right. six awards, and True Blood is somewhere in the ballpark of 45. Yes, Alright, award-winning, highly respected HBO vampire drama, show us what you've got. for this to happen ever since they came out of the coffin two years ago. Is that racist or stupid? You know what? Scoring it for both. Oh, don't worry about Sam. He's cool. I know for a fact he supports the Vampire Rights Amendment. How progressive about him. Really think that she's gonna let him bite her? You know how many people are having sex with vampires these days? Sometimes those people disappear. No. He's not like that. Okay, okay, you spoke to him for like a minute. She does have a point. How many people he's sucked the blood out of over the last however many centuries he's been alive? But he's so not scary. Sweet Jesus in heaven, Suki, he is a vampire. Yeah, but the synthetic blood has everything. Are you willing to pass up all your favorite foods and spend the rest of your life drinking Slim Fast? You guys are trying to say he'll kill her. She'd only drink true blood if she'd been turned into a vampire. And she wouldn't be dead then. Well, she would be. But you know what I mean. And just shut the fuck up. Sometimes when you talk, this is what I hear. A yitty yitty yitty. You crazy bitch. They don't tell us if that was psionics or magic or what, but that was cool. And it was shot well, too. So, silver, huh? I thought that only affected werewolves. I, I, I'm not implying that werewolves exist. I mean, and that's just what you always see in the movies. I'd appreciate it if you didn't share this information with anyone. We don't like for our weaknesses to be made public knowledge. I did some double checking. Not only did the internet exist in 2008, but the, so did Facebook, Twitter, and Tumblr. Also, those two hicks knew somehow, so I think your secret weaknesses are already out. Suki! Thank God. You okay? Suki, he's asking because he's so deeply concerned. Not enough to try to help you, but he was still, you know, really deeply concerned. Yeah, but Sam, if I did work here, it would be a matter of time before you went off on somebody. I don't want to drive my customers away. I only go off on stupid people. Most of my customers are stupid people. Yeah, but I can help you keep an eye on Suki. Mm -hmm. Be it a March 6th. Right. And learn this on your own. All right, I don't have time to train you. Sam, I was mixing whiskey sours for my mama when I was in first grade. It's just like riding a bicycle. <laughs> sure, that's fucked up. You think? <laughs> My mom, I'm crazy. Mm -hmm. Damn, girl. He was real interesting. That's nightmare fuel. I'll let you get to bed. Mmm. Okay, honey, I just stayed up until you got here. Which is why, instead of going to bed now, I will return to my book. Oh. Marsh dolls. Ma, that was a fang banger? Know that. Okay, you have to just say that she told you, otherwise you will look exceptionally well, suspicious. No What's up with Jason and the law? Maybe they think you know something about my dad. You ever visit my dad at her apartment? Me? No. Ever? No. 
Boys, I could do a lot better than more dead pickings, believe me. <laughs> you weren't there last night. Last night, uh... Okay, yeah, I was there last night. Yeah. Then why didn't you say so? What? Then why didn't you say so? Because I know she got killed. And I thought it would look bad me having been in her place. Well, it does look bad, Jason. It looks real bad. Okay, look. I hooked up with more dad last night. We had sex. There's this one scene earlier I couldn't show you because it'd just be one black screen with an unending chorus of beeps or no sound. But let's just say he left his DNA in every imaginable place on the victim and choked her hard enough with his bare hands to disrupt her breathing. So, not even knowing that you were being videotaped between prints and DNA, how did you think you could lie to the cops for not being there? Also, you suck at lying. This scene. Hey! Hooker. How you doing? What you doing here? I work here. Oh, no the hell you don't. Oh, yes the hell I do too, you ugly bitch. That boy is sex on a stick. I don't give a good damn how stuck up he is. How you doing? Look at you. Scaring that white boy. Ain't nobody scaring him. He too big to be scared. I like a big man. Look at that belt. Dance all the Don't you have something to fry? Huh. My Santa Claus. Oh. So you don't even know for a fact that they arrested him? Well, they they didn't call for my on Suki, I'm so sorry. All right, hold up. That's Arlene, the peaches and cream waitress. Can we call up an image of Denise, the white trash drug dealer? And Maudette, the woman who was murdered? You know what? The first time through, I kept getting mixed up of who was what and getting confused because all these women look so similar. How can there be so many older, red-headed, scrawny women dressing practically the same way in a cast of like 15 counting the extras? Yeah, it has to be because Jason's a real stand-up guy. No, he's not, Hoyt. He was selfish, egotistical, and a complete horn dog. I love when honesty turns killer. to humor. So he didn't bother sitting down until she stared at him. Good thing that the conversation with about her brother didn't make her upset and have her run out. Otherwise, he would have been standing there looking rather socially awkward for a long time. Look at that like she's walking down the aisle her goddamn wedding day. Hey, honey, just cause a guy's trying to look it's at that vampire. Oh, you started staring at him the same time Sicky looked over. And you had didn't have an obstructive view. Why did it take so long for you to either realize or say what you were looking at? Bonus point for scoring a hat trick in a single scene. Good evening, Miss Stackhouse. Ain't fine in being here with normal people. Bill is a living mute button. Well, not living, but stop it, you know what I mean. Suki, you being a very stupid girl. Who asked you? I, I can take care of myself. I don't think so. Matt could have seriously cut you up. How do you know what Matt Why didn't you help then? Vampire, what do you have? A death wish? No, I don't have a death wish. Well, I will not let you put yourself or this bar in danger. I won't. How does her seeing someone in her personal time endanger your bar? Unless it's because he's a vampire, so. You know what? That's no. racist. I'm calling it racist. Well, next time you think somebody's being harmed in the parking lot, pick up the phone and call the police. You know, like do he did. Oh, like wait. Bonus point for scoring a hat trick in a single scene. Oh, Cher. <laughs> but you know I couldn't stand it. It feels so warm. I can't help it. I want you to dance. It feels so warm. 
Okay, he's scared and angry and kind of flustered, but yet all his inner thoughts basically sound like he's spending too much time alone in the shower. Well, I won't let you just walk into his trap, no ma'am, over my dead His trap? Suki's the one that's doing, saying, and setting up everything. I never noticed how much you and Jason have the same eyes. Such sweet eyes. He can never kill anybody. Again, how can someone apparently be so angry and scared and upset, and yet their thoughts so calm and, well, horny? Another hat trick in the same scene. The person who can hear thoughts tells two quiet people to shut up because they dare to think to themselves. Suki. Sam? You want me to wait with you until... Go home, Sam. His trailer has a window in line with her car. Why wouldn't he watch it from there if he's so worried? Also, who turns off the lights in their house upon entering? Wouldn't you want to take off your shoes, maybe use the washroom, or at least, you know, walk to your bedroom first? And trailer or no, unless his bed is right next to the door, there should be more than one minute before the lights go off. <laughs> Sam was super concerned about her meeting up with the vampire at this moment. And now the rat trees are beating her underneath a giant floodlight in line with his window, and he can't hear or see anything. Bonus point for scoring a hat trick in a single scene. All right, so that was True Blood season one, episode one, Strange Love. Let's see how it scored. We have 14 merits and 42 flaws. Can't say I'm surprised. Aside from some witty dialogues from a couple of select characters, there is nothing really interesting happening here, and most of the time what's happening on screen is filler and white noise, even in context to its own story. They desperately try to flash around breasts, sex, and swearing to pull in the type of people who love that stuff, but to me it just accentuates how little there is actually being offered. Who knows, maybe it will get better as time goes on, but personally, I really doubt it. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Follow us on Twitter and Facebook. I'd also like to take a moment to give a shout out to SF Debris, link in the description below. If you like Star Trek, you should check out his reviews. They are pretty killer. Also, for copyright purposes and the Fair Use Act of Canada, I would like to once more state that this is HBO's True Blood. It belongs to HBO in its entirety, and they can be proud about that, I guess. The sun will go down.